Well, good morning. It is Monday, the 18th of May, 2020. We are going to seal coat a roof of a trailer here in Penwood Crossing. And uh, we're just about now on scene. So I want to welcome you to the video. We're going to roll the intro and then I'll see you on the other side. I'm gonna tell you right now, the people that own this mobile home are outgoing, kind people. They are very good people. I wouldn't mind having them as neighbors myself. I'm putting the ladder up against the side of their mobile home here because I'm gonna seal coat the roof. But what I didn't know when I put the ladder here was that there was a leak at this end of the trailer uh, previous to my arrival, many years ago actually, and the roof is actually quite weak. So although I do climb up from this end and I do the seal coating and everything, this is probably not the side of the mobile home that anybody should be climbing. They should always climb from the other side. Um, I'm sure that the metal rafters or whatever they call it that runs from the left to the right side and creates that concave roof are probably rotted away at this point and not providing the stability necessary for um, the security of the structure. So the original job was just to seal coat the roof. However, after I arrived, the man's wife asked me if I'd be kind enough to clean out the gutters uh, while I was up on the roof. Of course, ma'am, I'd be happy to do that for you. That's my response because I'm always trying to keep my customers happy. And I, I do everything I can for them to not only keep them happy, but to keep them relying on my services instead of looking elsewhere. She stated all I had to do was throw the debris down and she and her husband were going to rake it up. So it's not like I had to bag it or, or anything. All I had to do was scoop it out and throw it off the side. Wait till you see how much tree litter is in these gutters. I later found out that it was eight years ago that they were last cleaned. So that darkened area that you see up ahead, that is not my handiwork, by the way. The woman of the house explained that an awning, like the one on the left there that I just walked past, blew off another mobile home three units away. So two trailers between her and the third one. Uh, that it blew off in a windstorm, flew over two trailers, and then punctured right through her roof. Now, this was, I guess, several years ago, and they hired someone to come out and repair it. And what he did was he put rolled roofing down with tar. Effective? Eh, yeah, sure. Correct? Nah, probably not what I would have done. Um, first, I would want to patch it with a, a plywood and then use a polyester fabric sandwiched between two coats of roof sealant. That's the best way to take care of it. But you know what? It worked, and they haven't had problems with it, and they're happy with it. Look, look at the tree litter. Look how much is just packed right in there. There's literally a tree, a maple tree, growing out of this gutter, and it's about two and a half to three feet tall. See it right there in the top corner of the of the camera well now the bottom right corner i'm going to rip it out here in a minute uh i tried to save it and save the root system i was going to plant it at my house but uh it is so deep into the gutter that it goes probably two and a half three feet uh from where it's growing and it was intertangled into everything and i just wasn't able to uh i wasn't able to keep it without breaking the roots off but um i am pulling it out right here you see all the dirt coming with it and uh there it is. It's like three, it's like two and a half, three feet tall. It's a gutter tree. No, oh, finally we're starting the job we're getting paid to do. We're going to seal coat the roof. Now, you really should mix this stuff. When you purchase it at the store, you should ask the people in the paint department to shake it for you. It's a five-gallon bucket, and it works just like a five-gallon you know, can of paint. 
you can put it in that machine and jostle it all around for you. But if you don't do that or if it's been sitting for a while, you need to mix it. It's, it's just like paint. It's not any thicker than that. Uh, it goes on like paint. The only thing that I'll tell you with this is it, like paint, it's a little bit runny. So when you dip your roller into the five-gallon bucket and then you pull it out to put it on the roof, it's going to drip from point A to point B. You're, you're not going to get you're not going to get around that. Don't use a roller pan. Dip your roller right into the bucket, and when the bucket gets so low that it doesn't cover the roller anymore, dump it on the roof. Just pour it out and roll it in. You don't need a roller pan. In fact, if you use one, you're going to make more of a mess, and anything that you're using, throw away when you're done. Don't try to clean off the roller. Don't try to clean off the stick that you're using. If it gets covered in this stuff, throw it away. It is not worth your time. It's like trying to clean tar off of something uh, once it hardens. It, it's a very, very sticky product. Now, the nice thing about this is it serves two purposes. The first purpose is you, co you cover all the seams. Well, you cover everything with it, but when you cover all the seams, if you do a really good job and make sure that you get all the seams uh, completely covered in this stuff, it seals them. If, if they have a small little leak in it or if there's a seam coming apart, as long as you fill it with this product, it's going to waterproof it. And, and that's, that's the main job of this. But the second purpose that this has is it's white, so it reflects sunlight. Black would absorb sunlight. So if you look at these other trailers in the distance, they've got brown shingles and, and uh, some of them have darker shingles the other, on the other side of the street. Those are all going to absorb sunlight, making your mobile home hotter in the summertime. Uh, probably also makes it hotter in the in the winter time, which might help you out. But the sun isn't as, as hot in the sky in the winter. So by painting it white and it reflects the sun, now your mobile home is a little cooler in, in the uh, summertime. And that saves energy. It saves on your cost of how, how often you have to run your air conditioner. And... It's also waterproof. So that's the reason you should seal coat your roof. And all the obstructions like you see here, take a paintbrush. Again, a disposable one. Nothing you want to keep. Trust me, don't try to clean the brush off. Just throw it in the garbage when you're done. You just take this stuff, you paint it on like it's paint, but just make sure you get every nook and cranny with it. Do the top, do everything, and it's all waterproof. And this stuff lasts for several years. I always recommend doing it every two years if you're, if you're going to seal coat your roof. Every two years is probably a good amount of time. Um, you can do it every year if you want to, but eight years is a long time. So I have with me my little imaginary friend, Oscar, he is a high Oscar from the woods of Maine, and I'm going to let him explain to you exactly how to seal coat your roof. Because if you're watching this video, you probably are looking for instruction on how to do it. So here, listen to Oscar. So you want to make sure that you're using cheap rollers. Don't put a lot of money into it. Get a half-inch nap roller something that's good for rough surfaces like a nappy roller and get a cheap rolling handle thingy majig that you put the roller on and get a cheap broom handle or something to screw into it because you want to throw it all away when you're done because this is going to be all garbage i wouldn't clean it and i wouldn't expect you to now this stuff is a little watery so when you take it out and the roller's full of the sealant, start in the middle of the roof. And then as you use a little bit of it, not when it's real dry, but when you use a little bit of it, then start rolling towards the edge. This way it doesn't just flow off the side of your roof and stain your whole house. You'd look like a zebra with stripes going all which ways. That would be really funny, but don't do that. And then when you have vent pipes or chimneys and things coming out of your roof, just use the paintbrush like Mr. Bob showed you and paint all around it. 
put it on really thick around the base and up the shaft and if there's a cap on the top like that one you're seeing in, in at the end there paint the, the cap too cover it all because this is also going to keep your 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 home cooler because of the light color because it's white and then it's going to seal coat your roof as well make sure you put it on thick where wherever you can now this trailer uh, Mr. Bob said was a 14 by 70 trailer so this really takes about two and a half of these buckets but three if you really want to put it on thick and I think they're well we went to the store to get them they were $89 a bucket I think that's how much they were so you're looking at like $270 in materials to do a 14 by 70 trailer if you do it with two you didn't do it right because you didn't put it on thick enough it should really look amazingly brilliant white when you're done mr. Bob I don't think there's anything else I, I can tell them did you want to add anything mr. Bob Actually, yes, there is something I'd like to add, and thank you very much. Oscar, you did a very good job explaining that. You definitely have learned a lot, and you have a good working knowledge on how to seal coat a roof. Um, fantastic explanation. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, so for the people watching at home, I just want you to know that if you have an area of your roof where it's damaged, and I don't mean like a gaping hole that you can look down and see someone sitting on the couch. I'm talking about like a crack in the roof or, or something where a seam is broken, you can go over it with this material and it'll probably take care of it. But if you have an area that's questionable, they sell a polyester uh, fabric that you can embed into this. So you'd paint the, the area, you'd lay the, fiber, uh, the uh, polyester fabric into the wet sealant, and then you would immediately seal over the polyester fabric. And that will definitely increase your chances of repairing the the hole without um, having to go back up and, and deal with it again so very good job Oscar thank you um, let's move along now and uh, look at the rest of this do yourself a favor do not scrimp and try to just roll around the obstructions, the vents and stuff that's coming out through your roof. Take the extra five minutes or less that's required and paint around it. Make sure you put it on good and thick so that you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't take but probably five minutes, probably less than that, probably two minutes to just paint around all of the vents that come out through your roof. If you paint around them with this stuff and you put it on nice and thick, you don't have to worry about a leak. You can sit in your home, have a few beers on a Friday night, and not worry about water dripping on your head. Isn't that worth it? <laughs> uh, am I laughing at you? I might be. You see that? See that uh, stick I'm using for the the roller arm extension? If you're not using one of them and you're going to do this, or you think you're going to do this on your hands and knees, holding the roller handle, then yeah, I was laughing at you. Don't do that. You will be all day and half the night getting done. Use an extension pole, stand up and roll it. And if you're going to lean a ladder up against the side of the house and think you're going to seal coat this from the, from the ladder, then I, I can't even laugh hard enough at you. Don't do that. Do not do that. You have to climb on the roof, and you got to do it the right way. you got to be able to see what you're doing. You'll notice, well, it's behind me now, but some of the areas that I've seal-coated have turned an orangey color. And you see them in the center of the roof there? There's like an orange strip. Well, that is uh, an oil-based product that is under there. So when you paint over it with this seal-coating, it turns it into that orangey, orangey color because the oil... Um, kind of tries to fight off the seal coating. I end up going back and putting a second coat on it, and it's fine. I don't think I show it on camera, but after this dries, you can you can walk on it, 
and uh, you can do a second coat. I suggest putting two coats on because you're going to get the best coverage that way and the best protection. So I want to tell you a little bit more about this uh, Henry product. And again, I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I, I do these videos because I enjoy making videos to help other people. And there goes my cell phone again. Twice. So they call it Henry 587 is what they call it. It's a 100% acrylic, Durabrite, white, elastometric roof coating. Yeah, if that's not a mouthful. And, and what it means is it it's reflective, which means it don't absorb this, the heat of the sun. It reflects it instead. So a black roof would absorb the heat. People that have shingles on their roof, dark colored shingles, it absorbs the heat. This white uh, elastometric roof coating reflects the heat. So in essence, it keeps your mobile home cooler longer. So it saves on air conditioning costs. And it actually, in, in all honesty, it reflects 73% of the sun's heat and UV rays after three years of prolonged uh, roof life. So for three years of this product being up there, 73% of the sun's rays are reflected. You realize how much savings that is? That's incredible. That's three quarters, almost three quarters of the of the uh, the savings three quarters seventy three percent seventy five percent would be three quarters out of a dollar right so seventy three percent is really close and you're saving a killer amount of money and the best thing about this product it's mildew and stain resistant and it also comes with a ten year uh, limited warranty on a one time application so. You install this one time, and for 10 years, if it fails you, the company's going to talk to you about it. They're going to help you out. It's crazy, man. It is absolutely crazy not to use the Henry brand of Dorbright White uh, Elastometric Roof Coating. It's like rolling paint on a roof. It's super simple. It cuts down your energy costs, and it keeps your, your rooms dry. I mean... Water, water's not going to leak in past this. Come on, people. Okay, so let's take a view from the ladder here. This is what it looks like after one complete coat. You notice some areas are darker, so I always suggest a second coat. Give it a couple hours to dry. All right, so we got that job done. It's all behind us. Uh, the roof is now not only water sealed, but also where it's white, it reflects the sun and it makes the mobile home cooler in the summertime. It's also better for your roof because you don't have all that heat beaten down on it. One section of this woman's roof was in terrible, terrible repair. Uh, it's right at the top where the ladder uh, was set against the house and uh, so when I climbed up onto the roof I could feel that it was uh, a little bit weak under underneath me uh, my footing so I mentioned it to her and she said that there was a leak there and that she had it repaired I don't know a couple of years ago uh, but that the inside ceiling was all crumbly too well, as it turned out, I think that the uh, ceiling rafters there, roof rafters or whatever they use in that mobile home, it must have rotted away as well. And she said when I stepped on the ceiling, a piece of molding uh, snapped off, this, not snapped off, but became loose inside. So I fixed that for her before I left, but I told her she really needs to do something with that roof and at the very least, keep people off of it. If someone needs to go on the roof for maintenance, have them climb on the backside of, of the mobile home instead of the front, and uh, it'd be a little bit more secure for them. So anyway, that's all done. It's behind us, and uh, you got to see what it looks like. 
It, it came out really nice. It took me about four hours, and that's including spending like a half an hour cleaning out the gutters. And the gutters, she said, were last cleaned uh, five or eight years ago. I, I don't remember now. It was it was quite some time ago. You don't ever want to leave your gutters five or eight years. You should change. You should have them cleaned every year um, after the fall leaves come down. So anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you tuning into the channel. Appreciate you taking your valuable time and watching the video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And when you do, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when I upload another video. And I try to upload them as often as possible. This is the busy season, so it takes me a little bit longer to produce the videos because the average video takes me about six or seven hours to actually put together. This video, probably not so much time um, because there's not a whole lot of uh, camera angles changing and stuff, but the majority of videos take me about six hours. So again, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.